Welcome back, I'm Tori. For a record-breaking, award-winning game that went on to inspire one of the most important genres in history, and a game that is filled with complex lore and amazing design, you think the status effect symbols would be a bit more... detailed? So, let's talk about them. I'm gonna go over each status effect symbol, talk about what it does, what it looks like, my thoughts on it, and then what gives you this status symbol. So just everything basically about it. And if you can't tell, this is mostly unscripted, and I'm just doing this for fun. The first one we're gonna go over is this purple boot. And this is basically saying you can walk on the abyss. It's granted from the Covenant of Artorias. Pretty detailed icon, you know, picture of a boot, relatively simple. And yeah, this one's pretty basic. The next one we have is the gray armor, which it looks to be the knight armor, I wanna say. Um, with a gray arrow up, and this is saying you have an addition, you have an additional poise boost, and this is from either the Wolf Ring or the Havel's Great Shield Stone Buff. Uh, and you'll notice this this arrow is quite simple, and uh, there's a little bit of a white border around it, which does not look great. And I find this one, uh, this arrow appears multiple times, and I find it really funny. The next one we have is a yellow arrow pointed straight up, and you'll notice this one's a lot wider. And this is 20% uh, enhanced stats from the Ring of Favor and Protection. Uh, the stats are health, stamina, and equip load. And it is the only, it's, it's just a unique little stat boost from the Ring of Favor and Protection. And this is the only time this arrow appears, this you know stubbier, wider arrow, and I don't know why. Next one is a scroll with a blue arrow up this time. Still that same arrow, just they definitely colored over it. Um, and this is basically saying you have a spell or miracle boost. This comes from the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring, Lingering Dragon Crest Ring, Ring of the Sun Princess, Ring of the Sun Firstborn, Crown of Dusk, or Crown of the Dark Sun, which is Gwendolyn's Crown. Next one is a looking like a, some sort of katana hilt. Uh, or handle, I mean. Uh, I could not find this in the game, but with a green uh, X over it, uh, and it basically saying your weapon durability loss is slowed, and this is from the Eastwood Grain Ring. This is a really kind of interesting one. It's just an X over a weapon, and it's, it's just weird. It doesn't really make sense, um, but there, it's, it's just that one. Next we have is an orange boot, obviously just a palette swap with the purple boot, um, and it's just the opposite of instead of the abyss, it's lava, so you can walk on lava, and it's from the orange charred ring. Everyone knows this one. Next one is the ring of the evil eye um, symbol, but it's like the eye itself, um, and it actually has two effects to it. While this is shown when you have the ring of the evil eye equipped. You know, you're getting health back on kill. Um, it also is the Trinkle Walk of Peace debuff, which is really interesting. So if you're either, if you're casted on it, if you get the uh, Trinkle Walk of Peace, either via the sword itself from an enemy player, or the actual stone knights in the garden, this will show up. And I think this is a very odd choice that they couldn't just, uh, you know, maybe put the spell icon up. Because they have icons... For, you know, other, you know, they could easily just make it smaller and put it up there. So it's really odd that they chose to use the Ring of the Evil Eye for that same one. It's definitely a little confusing, but yet it's not the most confusing one on here. Next is more of a, a sandy looking snake, um, sandy color snake, and this also has two effects. Um, it is both either the Covenant Gold Serpent Ring or the Covenant Silver Serpent Ring. Gold Serpent Ring Raises item discovery, silver serpent raises soul gain. Um, again, kind of odd they don't just put the two different colors on here, but you know it being it's showing you have one of these effects present. Next is just the humanity sprite, and this is either from the ring of sacrifice or rare ring of sacrifice, basically saying you're not going to lose your souls on death. Um, that one's pretty much that's probably one of the most simplest ones on here. Next is the th just three arrows pointed straight up. The same arrow just copy and pasted three times. 
still with that really bad white you know border around it that definitely does not look intentional and this either means you have stamina regeneration hp regeneration or fall damage is reduced which is again another weird one and this, and that buff can come from Chloranthony Ring, Grass Crest Shield, Mask of the Child, Green Blossom, Sanctus, Replenishment, Bountiful Sunlight, Elizabeth Mushrooms, or Fall Control. Or Replenishment, did I say Replenishment? I might have said Replenishment. Replenishment is another one, if I didn't say it. I'll find out when I watch, read this back, but. <laughs> the next one is a blue shield, um, kind of similar to the heater shield. To me, that's what it looks like. That's my first thing that comes to mind. Uh, with the same green arrow again. Uh, just one of them this time. And this is either a defense up or a pyromancy buff. Which, again, why? I don't know why they didn't do that. But, okay. Uh, this is from either the Ring of Steel Protection, Flamestone Plate Ring, Thunderstone Plate Ring, Spell Stone Plate Ring, Speckled Stone Plate Ring, Magic Barrier, Great Magic Barrier, Flash Sweat, Iron Flesh, Power Within, and the Moonlight Great Sword. If you don't know, the Moonlight Great Sword while holding it gives you a magic uh, defense boost. Editor uh, Tori here. I also realized while playing the other night that the Drake Sword also gives you a defense boost. And that kind of made me realize there's probably a lot of stuff that uh, the wiki has gotten wrong. Um, the Moonlight Greatsword wasn't on the wiki either for the status symbols. Uh, I just knew about that one. So, uh, there's some of these that are probably wrong um, and it's not on here. Uh, I don't have time to actually look through and figure out what is what. Um, you make fact check and cross reference or whatever. But if you know of any that I missed, let me know. Um, I might redo this video at some point and make it actually scripted, but just, uh, yeah, so Drake Sword's one of them, um, yeah, I'm gonna go back to editing now, bye. I don't, I don't know why they didn't just make another separate one for Pyro buff, they overlap, which is weird, uh, I don't know why they had to fit all in this one category, I mean, you've made different, you know, categories for one thing in the past, like the Eastwood Granary, you made its, you made its own unique icon, you know, but you couldn't make your own pyro one. I mean, I could easily make a pyro one in four minutes in Photoshop, if that, uh, but, you know. Next is we have another, we have a sword, a uh, red sword with the green arrow, once again. Uh, this is just an attack up, uh, which is either the Leo ring, Hornet ring, Hawk Ring, Chandler's Trident buff, or Karmic Justice, which is odd, because again, Karmic Justice isn't really an attack up, it just explodes you if you hit too much, so, I mean, sure, <laughs> sure you're definitely doing damage, but it's not like a huge thing, but I guess it falls into that category. Don't know why it couldn't go into Pyro buff. I know it's a miracle. But there's another one that on here that it also could fall under, which is probably my most baffling one. Next is the male thief hood. Um, if you don't know, thief class, the male and female have two different uh, headpieces. I think. I could be wrong. I'm no, I'm pretty sure, because the, the female has the mask, and the male has the hood. I'm pretty sure. But this is from the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring, Ring of Fog, Kin Body, and Hush. Stuff that, you know, makes you stealthier. Slumbering Dragon Crest and Hush make, uh, make you make no sound. Ring of Fog and Hidden Body make it harder for you to be seen. Next we have the same shield, but this time yellow, with again this yellow arrow. And this is a elemental resistance, or not an elemental resistance, a, um, a status effect resistance like poison and bleed and then just two other ones two other ones that just do not fit into this category they are not debuffs they're, they're not uh status effects is what i meant to say they're, they're not those it's just random and this is granted by the blood bite ring curse bite ring poison bite ring blood shield editorial again uh by the way uh this isn't just 
it, all the stuff that gives you um, status effect boosts. Um, I just want to point out, the wiki is just badly fucking written. Um, I was relying on the wiki for a lot of this video uh, because, again, I'm trying to work on a much bigger project, don't have a lot of time. Um, but they've let me down, and basically just, I'm now certain that a lot of this video is incorrect when it comes to what uh, actually gives what. Um, the Gurgles Hybrid fucking gives you uh, a boost. So does uh, a few other weapons. It's like... It... And I'm not even using Fex to Life. That's the, that's the fucked up part. I'm not using Fex to Life. I'm using the Wiki Dot. Which should be reputable. I am sad that there's not an actual good wiki for the Souls games. Especially Dark Souls 1. This game has been out since 2011. How have we not had a good wiki yet? I am disappointed in us as a community. And then the Vow of Silence and Seek Guidance. The Vow of Silence is a debuff, not a, you know, boost. Um, and then also Seek Guidance just allows you to see more messages. Again, just put a picture of the orange shard ring for that. And then for Vow of Silence, just put a picture of fucking Vow of Silence. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know why they did this. But anyway... Uh, next one is a purple tear stone ring, and this is uh, obviously the tear stone ring uh, buff. Um, and I actually really like this one because, while I do think the silver serpent ring, you know, they could have made two silver ones for the silver serpent ring. I do like this one because it is a combined color. You know, red and blue make purple, and I do like that that it's purple. You know, meaning it could be either one. Now, I think it would have been cooler if you had both rings on; it would show up as purple. But I think this is still cool either way. Next we have a red arrow down, and underneath it will be your weapon of whatever weapon you're using. Um, so again, they can do, you know, they can make smaller portraits of things, looking at you, Vow of Silence, and Seek Guidance. Um, but the thing I want to point out here is that the arrow is actually a lot more detailed than the up arrows. Uh, it is way, it has way more shading to it, and it's, you know, pops out more. So... Again, if you want a green arrow, just fucking palette swap the... I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't get it. You would think that it would be such an easy fix, too. I, I just... It's so weird to me. Next one is a... Basically just a red eye. And this is from the eye of the correct red eye orb or the red eye orb. Basically means you're looking for a world to invade currently. Um... It's pretty simple. I mean, it's the most straightforward one on this fucking list. Uh, so, give I, it's automatic S tier. I'm not ranking these, but... <laughs> Last two we have are the password connection. Uh, basically, if you know this, it's the... It's just this, it's like a little rune. Um, meaning you're, you have a password on. Uh, if you know the name engraved ring from Dark Souls 2, it's this... That ring is this icon, just in ring form. And then the last one, we have a scroll and a sword that are blue, with a blue arrow pointed down. And this is basically the co-op nerf. Um, so if you are a summon uh, using password, uh, and you're, you're level 100, and you're going and to someone who's level 15's world, you'll have this symbol. Your health will be lowered, your damage will be lowered, um, just so you're kind of on the same scale as them. But that's pretty much uh, it. I just want to go through here and point out the really, really weird ones and like how just like the quality of them is so weird. Um, but other, you know, that's pretty much all there is. Um, this is just a quick little thing for me to make. And yeah, thank you for watching this unscripted mess of a video and seeing what kind of weird status symbols there are in Dark Souls 1. If you want me to do this for the other two games, I will. Just let me know and I'll make a potentially better video. <laughs> but thank you and I'll see you then later.